everyone, Linda Israel here, and I'm sharing with you some junk journals I made using the Calico Collage Digital Junk Journal Kit or Journal Kit Dragonfly Delight. I had a workshop in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, and I always make extra kits, if you will, for my students in case I have someone show up at the last minute. And I had a few left over, so I thought I would make some soft cover junk journals. These measure approximately eight and a half by five and a half and have 14 sheets of paper, which makes roughly 56 uh, pages inside this journal. On the cover, it is a soft card stock cover that I've used one of the Calico Collage images here on top of the dragonfly and the heart and it may be hard to see in this light but it shimmers and that was done using tulip dimensional glitter paint this can be found in the fabric department I use this instead of stickles because you get a huge bottle four ounces for under five dollars and where stickles for the little beady one half ounce bottle they're like three four dollars a piece it does take a little bit longer for it to dry so try to plan ahead and lay things out so that they can dry I've used a ribbon just to tie it shut and I want to say that I just did a pamphlet stitch here so if you got this journal home and you decided you really wanted to make a spine journal with three signatures and add more pages all you can do is snip this and then you can take the pages out and make your own journal you could even cut this apart and use it as part of your cover if you wanted here I've used a word that I created on my silhouette and I cut that out and then used some Distress Ink by Tim Holtz, vintage photo, a little doily here. On the inside cover I have a little pocket that I made out of a little book page and then this is one of those little notepads that you rip off the pages. This is a domino image from the Calco Collage Domino Dragonfly Delight and I've just added a little bit of fibers underneath there. Again you can see the glitter that's on the pages and each one of the Calico Collage pages like this I have added that. This is one of the cards in the kit and it's backed onto cardstock because I print the kit itself on color laser paper and it's rather thin and so I wanted something a little bit heavier. These dragonflies here are cut on my Cricut and it's a dragonfly little border that I cut on glitter cardstock and then backed it onto a piece of cardstock. Here is a little notepad that I made using various pieces of note paper. Another one of the journaling cards on cardstock. And then here's a little purple glitter corner that I made on my silhouette. Another one of the Calico Collage images. And of course whenever you see this beautiful patterns in the background that is made with Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist. And I make my own stencils now to make them unique when I put them in my journals <clears throat> and I hope to have a tutorial pretty soon on how I make those because people keep asking. This is a scrap of paper that I have a whole ream of that is uh, perforated paper from a job that I had years ago and they were going to throw it away so I kept it and so whenever I spray a page with Tattered Angels I will take this and lay it over the top and it will be a mop-up of what I've done below. There's a tuck spot here as well as a pocket here. This page here is a page out of an old book and I've painted it with acrylic paint and then sprayed it with some Tattered Angels. Here's another one of those mop-up pages, another little notepad that I've made, another one of the Dragonfly Delight pages, got this wrapped around a page, another journaling card here, it's a coloring book page. I just love the shimmer that that dimensional paint puts on there. These are some tags that are also in the Calco Collage kit and this is a pocket here as well. This is a stationary page that you would usually run through your printer and I picked some up and I just trimmed it just a little and it fits perfectly. This page is a dictionary page and then down here is some notebook paper that we used 
for gel printing. So a gel press was covered in paint. And I've got a video that shows how I do that. And we made a whole bunch of pages one day. And so I just used those to make a pocket. This is one of the Calico Collage little envelopes that has little journaling cards in it. And I've just folded it and added it to the page. Here's another one of those rip-off little notepads. And then this was some scraps that I had left over that was the domino image and then this little piece here was something I found in my stash and then I cut the word using my stamps and Cricut or Silhouette depending on. I've got a whole box of them. On this side is a little filigree that's designed to be a paper edger from Crafter's Companion using the Gemini. So I just die cut that and instead of making it the whole page, I just cut it off and that made a nice little tuck spot. I've added some little dragonflies in the center here and then I've got a little journaling card. Back to the Gemini from Crafter's Companion. Keep watching when my channel reaches 5,000 members, I'll be having a giveaway. So you want to make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and get that notification so that you can enter to win a Gemini Junior. Notebook paper that's been sprayed with Tattered Angels on both sides here. And then here is the other side of the Calco Collage image. This is a altered paper clip that I've made. I've got a image in my silhouette that I used to cut onto cardstock and then I used one of the domino images from Calco Collage. I like this style because they're so easy to make. Here's another pocket that's part of the journal and has some of the tags in there. Another one here these sideways. Another one of the altered paper clips. Journaling card here, journaling card there. I've made three of these journals. They're pretty much the same other than it's hard to duplicate perfectly when you spray with Tattered Angels. This page is a napkin that's been adhered to the page and has got some Tattered Angel sprayed over the top of it. This page here with this neat little fold is a tutorial that I have for the winter junk journal page. So if you're looking on how to do this particular one, check that out. I'll have the little eye up there in the corner. And then here is the back cover. And this cardstock has little hearts in it. And it may be hard to see it, but they are little hearts that are embossed in the page. And I just left that blank so you could write on it. And again, I have three of these in my shop. If you're interested, check it out by getting to the links in my description box. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Of course, subscribe. If you have any comments or questions, use that comment box down below. And remember, I also do custom junk journals. Be on the lookout for the 5,000 subscriber. And also, if you follow me on Facebook, you'll see whenever I'm going to have events of doing workshops in various cities throughout the United States this year. Thanks again for watching. I appreciate each and every one of you. Love you lots. Bye.